Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a quick front porch Halloween decorate with me. I just wanted to get something up on the porch to spookify it a little bit. The kids love it, which is why I do it. So I never really go all out for Halloween. I usually just have like some lights outside and call it good and I have my signs, but this year I figured I would add a few more things. I got this gauze from Amazon. I will link it down below just in case you guys want a last minute decorate. I know we only have a couple weeks until Halloween, but I did get it at Amazon. It came with like two days and it was so easy to use. Typically I use a lot of that black spider web out on the front porch, but the gauze made it even spookier and it was so much easier to use because it didn't get all over everything. So I'm just kind of adding some black gauze to the front wreath and then I had this cute happy haunting sign from the target value spot that I got last year I'm sure they've got some similar stuff left in the value section yet this year so so definitely check out the target value spot if you want some cheap last-minute decorations otherwise Amazon is a really great place to go as well I am also using some leftover crows that I used inside the house this year I just stuck some on the front door which my front door is completely destroyed. I painted the front door earlier this summer and the paint stuck so well, but my dogs have scratched the heck out of that front panel and I need to retouch it up and get some kind of sealant on it so when the dogs jump up on it, it doesn't scrape away as easily. But I had a beautiful day to work with while I was putting up the decorations. I'm dusting off this chair. Everything came from the garage and everything was so dusty and I am covered in dust in this video. But it's real life. This is what it looks like when I'm putting out my outdoor decorations. Everything can get dusty in the garage, especially with Mike's woodworking. So I'm usually covered in dust whenever I'm decorating outside. But something else I wanted to mention is when I was putting up these decorations, there, oh my gosh, I told Mike we need to raid around the house because there were so many huge spiders. Now, I am like, I, I don't like spiders necessarily but I can like squish them right if they're like the smaller ones I don't mind them but these were giant wolf spiders like the like just so huge like bigger than a golf ball huge just giant giant spiders and I was not very comfortable with it so <laughs> later on in the video when you see me putting up the black spider web I get a little jittery because there was a huge wolf spider down by my feet um, and I don't know where it went so it's always a little bit sketchy when you can't see where the spiders go but I guess that added to the ambiance of the Halloween decor but anyways I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this video give you guys some inspiration for some last-minute front porch Halloween decorating and leave it in the comments down below what are you guys doing for Halloween this year we have chosen not to go out trick-or-treating but to do a little bit of a Halloween party with our friends and family and we're going to do an Easter egg hunt style Halloween so we're going to do like black and orange Halloween Easter eggs or Halloween eggs I guess you could call it um, and hopefully we have got some decent weather to work with on Halloween so the kids can be outside most of the day and we're going to do like Halloween themed food and all of the fun things like that so again leave it in the comments below what are your guys's plans for Halloween this year with your kids and do you guys decorate for Halloween outside do you guys throw Halloween parties let me know in the comments down below
All right, you guys, this is the final result for the front porch this year. I was really hoping to get a couple more pumpkins from the pumpkin patch, but being that we've been quarantined this year for the past couple weeks, we have not been able to get over to the pumpkin patch, but we do have one for Riker and one for Kaya to carve. It's one of our most favorite Halloween traditions is carving pumpkins. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the Halloween decorations this year on the front porch, and I will see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye, you guys.